I'm Jyoti Sharma and you're watching Agri Business News. Let's start with the latest updates. UPL Limited announced that it has received the prestigious National Intellectual Property Award for the year 2020 in the category Top Public Private Limited Company for Patent and Commercialization in India, Manufacturing Sector. Beaming with pride, Mr. Rajni Shroff, Chairman and Managing Director of UPL India said, at UPL, we are proud to put farmers' need first and create products and services around their requirements. Our relentless focus on innovation has helped us to launch new products every year. Equaculture technology platform Equaconnect has been selected for the fifth class of Google for Startup Accelerator India. The Google for Startup Accelerator India is focused on supporting great startups that are solving societal and economic challenges specific to the country using advanced technology. Raja Manohar Soma Sundaram, founder and CEO of Equaconnect said, We are excited to be a part of the Google Startup Accelerator. We believe that this is a great validation for our technology-enabled impact work with shrimp and fish farmers. CropLife India and Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry, FIKI, are jointly organizing a webinar on the importance of safety in manufacturing, Indian crop production industry, operation and execution of Production Change Management on 25th of August 2021 at 10 a.m. Agritech startup Unnati proposes to support over 3,000 farmers producer organization FPOs this year to empower about 15 lakh farmers with tech-led business solution by enhancing their economic strength and market linkages to improve their incomes. Amit Sinha, co-founder of Unnati said, Unati has always maintained a sharp focus on building tech-driven solutions that can not only improve farmers' income but also strengthen their market linkages, help them avail financial services and enable them to increase their crop yield. Venture Agro has launched Metro Special Milk aimed at the tea vendors in West Bengal. The product which is priced at Rs 25 will initially will be available in Kolkata, Barakpur, Krishnanagar, Durgapur and Asansol. Catering to the tea stall owners, the milk claims to have a special composition that offers more cups per pouch. The company would reach directly to the tea stall owners in addition to regular shops. Samunati has been declared a winner at the Dinstigus NBFC Awards 2021 for the Best Corporate Communication Initiative, Best Design Thinking Initiative and Best Group Synergy Initiative by Banking Frontiers. Agritech player Arya has appointed former NABAR chairman Dr. Harsh Kumar Banwala as non-executive independent director of the company. Dr. Banwala will mentor and advise Arya as it's developed and reimagines the ecosystem through a comprehensive portfolio of agri-services powered by its platform Arya.ag. Seedworks International Private Limited is to be a part of the Global Alliance for Climate Smart Agriculture. GACSA is an exclusive voluntary and action oriented multi stakeholder platform on climate smart agriculture. They are working together to ensure that the world's agriculture can sustainably feed and nourish humanity and secure livelihoods in the face of a changing climate. For more agri updates, keep watching Krishi Jakran. Thank you.